White Oak Capital Special Opportunities Fund NFO. Will investing in this fund be a value addition to your investment portfolio or not? Let us find the answer to this question through an in-depth review and analysis. Hi, welcome to holisticinvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to make the right financial and investment decisions to achieve your financial goals faster and smarter. White Oak Capital Special Opportunities Fund NFO opens on 15th May 2024 and is open until 29th May 2024. The key features of this NFO is it belongs to the category of thematic equity scheme special. It is an open-ended fund type and it follows the benchmark index of S&P BSC 500 TRI. You need to invest at least a minimum amount of 500 rupees. And the fund managers of this fund are Mr. Deeresh Patak, Ms. Trupti Agrawal and Mr. Piyush Baranwal. The exit load is 1% if it's redeemed within one month of investing. So what is the philosophy of this fund? It aims to invest in opportunities across pressure situations that involves restructuring, turnaround, spin-offs, etc. The investment objective of this fund is to provide long-term capital appreciation by investing across all companies experiencing special situations and other special corporate actions. This fund is suitable for aggressive investors, for bullish on new trends and emerging sectors. So what are the pros of investing in this NFO? This fund is diversified among the top performing companies that undergo special corporate actions and special situations, especially if you are an investor who is seeking to allocate your investments to the new trends emerging sectors, then this might be a good fit for you. If the new trends and emerging sectors even performs well and delivers well, you might even potentially get inflation beating returns as it follows a high risk and high return policy. So it's suitable for aggressive investors who are bullish on the new trends and emerging sectors. So before we decide to invest in any fund, it's equally important to understand its cons as well. So the cons of this fund is this is riskier for short term investors. If you're looking for a short term investment, this is not a particular investment suitable for that because you need to be committed to this investment for a long time, at least for five to seven years to earn back the potential returns. As so this fund as it's very volatile and not uh, suitable for short term, this fund is also not suitable for your core investment portfolio where you are investing to achieve your specific financial goals. If you really want to invest in this fund, you can invest this through your satellite portfolio where you have some spare money and you want to experiment, then you can invest in this. But do not invest just to achieve your specific financial goals because this fund is not suitable for that. As not all new trends and emerging sectors translate into stock market returns. So there is a probability in that where you might not get the returns you are anticipating. So in turn you might even overexpose your portfolio to negative triggers. As this fund is not flexible and dynamic when compared to diversified funds and can add more volatility to your investment portfolio. As this fund has a higher concentration risk, it might even make your investment portfolio to be in a riskier position. So if the new trend and emerging sector underperforms, you might even receive less returns even as well as negative returns. So when you invest in these type of NFOs, it's important the timing and circle of competence should be on the higher side. So it's better if you consult with a professional financial planner to help take your investment decisions as they would better guide you. Also, what is the final takeaway we can get from this review of this fund? First time investors and conservative investors should avoid this type of fund. If you're just beginning to invest, this is not the type of fund you might want to start your investment journey with. Also, if you are a conservative investor who does not have a high risk for tolerance, then you must also avoid this type of fund. If you really want to invest in such type of fund, you can uh, try to invest in already existing equity thematic funds which has a good track record. 
so white oak capital special opportunities nfo fund is not suitable fund when you are looking to add funds for your core investment portfolio this might be suitable for your satellite portfolio as previously discussed but not for your core investment portfolio where you want to achieve certain financial goals within a certain time frame also if you are someone who doesn't know when to enter and exit from a special opportunity fund it's better you avoid this fund so if you are still having doubts or if you still want to invest in this always consult with a professional financial planner or with a professional mutual fund distributor because a professional will always help you with four things first they will help you with your investment objective they will first consult what is your investment objective and check the investment objective of this uh, scheme you want to invest in and see if it aligns with your values they will also analyze your risk profile and the risk quotient present in the scheme you want to invest in to see if it does in align or not they will also check the overlap ratio they will first understand what is already in your existing portfolio of stocks or in mutual funds and see if the portfolio of this fund overlaps with yours and if the overlap ratio is less they might consult you to invest in the fund but if the overlap ratio is more they will consult you not to invest in the fund and finally they will advise you on allocation how much allocation should be given to the new investment to help you with your financial goals so if you are someone who has any doubt regarding this or any other financial or investment decision then don't hesitate to book a one on one complimentary consultation with one of our financial planners through the link given in the description also if you want to know more about finance and investment from experts then we recommend you to attend our live webinar through registering in the link in the description this webinar is absolutely free so if you like this video hit like and if you're new to our channel please do subscribe thank you for watching